Hi Stampers, this is Travis. Welcome to Video Friday. And so today for our YouTube, we're going to be making a cute fun fold card called an interlocking gate fold. And um, this card is not really hard, but there are um, some some cuts that you'll need to make um, as far as designer series paper. I'm going to be using a lot of product that is going to be retiring at the end of the month. And so on May the 2nd, the annual catalog is going to change over to the new annual catalog. So May 3rd, we'll have new products. So I'm going to be using several products today. Designer series paper, stamp set, ribbon, um, some embellishments that are going to go away and so I'll be giving you those page numbers and the pricing in case you're interested in ordering any of it before it's unavailable. So let's get started today. So the stamp set that I'm going to be using is Best Year. So sad this is going to be retiring. It's one of my favorite stamp sets for sentiments. So Best Year is sold on page uh, 103 of the annual catalog. It's $20. This is a red rubber cling set. Love it. Been using it a lot because I do make a lot of birthday cards and so we're going to be using that today. We're also going to be using some designer series paper from the mini catalog and that is also going to be retiring um, but not until the end of June. So Flowering Fields is the designer series paper. Ugh this paper. Love it. There is not one sheet of it that I don't absolutely love. So we're going to be using that today. We're going to be using a punch called Treasured Tags Pick a Punch. And so this punch is sold on page 143 of the catalog. It's a uh, $23. It does do um, two different um, edges and it also has three different sizes. So this is a Treasured Tags Punch. We're also going to be using some white ribbon from the annual catalog. This is called Flowers for Every Season. This is a um, linen, a faux linen uh, ribbon sold with two other ribbons, actually. So it's a three pack for $10 and it's sold on page 140, Flowers for Every Season. So we're going to be tinting that today. We're also going to be using my favorite... Um, my favorite sequins, Artistry Blooms. And so these are gonna be going away. These are sold on page 143, $7 in the annual catalog, okay? So those are the products we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna to be using Poppy Parade as my base color, and I'm gonna be using the, um, the uh, blend marker to tint the ribbon, okay? So to make our card, you are gonna need 12 by 12 card stock. And this is cut five and a half by 12. I did score it in advance. So this is scored at two, four, eight, and 10. All right, so you are gonna need to score it four times with your paper trimmer or your scoring um, blade. And um, we are going to fold this in, okay? And then fold it back. And this makes the gate fold. Fold it in and back. Don't freak out that there's a little gap there. It's okay. Okay. And so that is going to make your gate fold. All right. Now we are going to use the designer series paper flowering fields, and I cut these in advance. So this is um, one and three fourths by five and a quarter. So I have four pieces cut and these are actually going to fit on these flaps. So I'm gonna use my Stampin' Seal. I know it's hard to cover this side up, but it doesn't really coordinate with my card that well. So, okay, so I'm just gonna glue these onto the panels. And you can use any kind of adhesive that suits you. Um, if you're a liquid glue person, go for it. If you like other adhesives, use that. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue all four panels. 
So it should fit nicely. We always hate it when all the designer series paper goes away, but fortunately, the mini catalog is still in effect until the end of June. Okay, so there's our, our flaps. Okay, and now I'm going to use this piece. And what I decided to do was, rather than stamp any kind of flowers or anything, I'm just going to cut up some of this paper. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So, I'm actually going to just cut a piece of this designer series paper. I want how much of it I want. I kind of want it. I want a nice piece of it without going too crazy. So I'm gonna cut this up. Yeah, we'll use this one. Okay. Super easy technique. Now what I'm going to do is adhere this, a lot of adhesive on it, and I'm actually going to adhere this inside of my card. Put it all the way down at the bottom, but I am going to leave that edge. Mm -hmm. Now I need something for right here, right? So I'm going to use my best year. Wishing you, um, I think I'm just going to do happy birthday to you. I just need to look at the one that's the most stained, right? Because that's the one I use all the time. Okay, so I have a little piece of white cardstock. So if I put that up here, yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, so trim that down just a little bit. Here's my punch, and I always do them upside down. So I'm just going to insert this. And do a cute edge. And then use some dimensionals. Pop that up a little. And put that on the inside of my card. Okay, so before I do, I'm going to use a little piece of this. And I'm going to tint this with my blend marker. I'm going to use the brush tip of the marker. I'm using the Dark Poppy Parade. And the cool thing about using the blends is that it dries super quick. Okay, it's not like the markers that take a while to dry. This technique works with the markers, but this is so much easier. So, put that down. Some adhesive. So cute. So now you still have a place to sign your card right here. Okay. But what makes this even cuter is the interlocking front. Okay. So I have another piece of designer series paper, and this piece also is from Flowering Fields. 
And so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to cut this into strips. So this is actually, um, let's see, this is actually three and three fourths by five. So a third would be, um, let's see, one and three fourths, three and a half. Um, so it's just gonna be under three and three fourths, okay? And just under three and, oh, sorry, one and three fourths. Did I say three and three fourths? I think I did. Just under one and three fourths. Okay, so I have those three cut. Now I'm going to adhere these to my white cardstock. And so this is four by five and a half. I know it seems a little strange that it's so much longer, but you want that border. Okay, so you want that border. I'm sure I got these in the right order. Yes, okay. There we go. And then do the middle one last. Okay, so center it like that. Okay, bring your paper trimmer back in. And now you're going to trim between those white lines. So you're going to line it up on your paper trimmer so that the line, so that it cuts. So you have that nice border, okay? So easy with this paper trimmer to see where it's gonna cut. Okay. All right, now the tricky part. The tricky part is gluing these on, not getting glue where you don't want it, okay? So you wanna keep these in line, okay? Cause they line up nicely, all right? Now we're gonna take some glue and we're gonna glue this on. All right, so I'm gonna see, I want to about right there. I'm gonna put this all the way to the edge. Okay. We have a little wiggle room with the liquid glue and then you're going to do the same thing for the top one. So you're going to hold it on here and see about how far down, about right here. You don't want glue down here, so you want to be careful when you're gluing that on. All right. And then the last piece right here. And they should fit in there perfectly, just like that. Okay. And then when you let them dry, just for a second, you can pull this apart. And isn't that so stinking cute? So that's your interlocking gate fold. Okay. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope um, that all of the dimensions that I gave you um, made sense and that you can give this a try. If you don't have designer series paper, just do some stamping and make your own. Okay. Enjoy. See you later. Bye.